Hello, and welcome back to Animated Literacy. This is lesson number 37 from the Story, Song, and Action book. In our last lesson, we learned about Baby Barnaby and his bright blue banjo. And we also learned about how he bumped into a big, bad, buzzing bumblebee. We have a book about buzzing here that looks at lots of other kinds of things that buzz besides just bumblebees. So this is kind of a fun book about buzzing. And it starts out like this. Buzz. Outside my window, a bee eats breakfast in a big red flower. Buzz. Mommy and Daddy snore. Buzz. Hooray for the clock. It's morning. Buzz, 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 buzz goes the alarm clock. More snoring still. So, wake up. Wants his parents to get up. Buzz. Daddy's silver rado, razor smooths his rough beard in one long, slow buzz. So razors that uh, father might use to shave with buzz. And the gardener mows the grass across the street. Buzz. And so if you have this book, you can learn about a lot of things that buzz. So maybe you want to make a list of all the things that you can think of that make a buzzing sound. So here's our list or our chart of sounds. And I've added a B to it that goes buzz. So we can start to play with that sound. So let's try that. And let me hold up our B next to our cards. And let's change the bee's buzzing sound to the, to the sounds of the characters. So if Baby Barnaby has a bee, what does it say? Buzz. And we bow for Baby Barnaby's sound. What does Farley Foxes say for fishing? Fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. Can you do that? Fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. And Kimmy Kangaroo blows kisses. So what does her bee say? Cuz, cuz, cuz. Cuz, cuz, cuz. And here's Jenny Jaguar juggling. So what does her bee say? Juzz, juzz, juzz. Juzz, juzz, juzz. And here's Rosie riding or roping. What would Rosie Raccoon's bee say? Ruzz, ruzz, ruzz. Ruzz, ruzz, ruzz. And here's Hippy Hippo humming that hot air through his harmonica. What does his bee say? Huzz, huzz, huzz. Huzz, huzz, huzz. And here's Daisy Dragon dancing. And what does her bee say? Does, does, does. Does, does, does. And Mimi Mermaid's moving her magic mop. And what's her bee saying? Muzz, muzz, muzz. Muzz, muzz, muzz. And here's Polly Panda painting. What does her bee say? Puzz, puzz, puzz. Puzz, puzz, puzz. And here's Sadie surfing. And what does her bee say? Suz, suz, suz. Suz, suz, suz. Timmy Tiger's tickling. His bee's going. Tuz, tuz, tuz. Tuz, tuz, tuz. And Lizzie Lamb's laying her head on lemon leaves. And what is her bee saying? Luz, luz, luz. Luz, luz, luz. Okay, so we can do a lot of playing with, with our sounds. Today... The topics that we're going to be talking about are school buses, for one, and this is a book by Donald Cruz that is called School Bus, and it reads like this at the beginning. It says, yellow school bus, and look at all the different yellow school buses there, large and small. So here's a large one, and what's this one? A small one. Empty yellow buses cross the town. So why are they empty? What are they going to do? They probably won't be empty for long. They'll go pick up some kids. Stop. And we learned to write the word stop and we drew a picture of a stop sign. Can you show me the sounds in stop? Stop. So we've got Sadie. Timmy, Timmy, Ollie Ostrich, and Polly Panda. Let's do that again. Stop. 
Another topic that we're going to be talking about is bats. And this is a book that will give you lots of true information about, pat, about bats. And so here it tells us that bats have lived on Earth for about 50 million years. That is a long, long time. A lot longer than people have lived here. Today there are nearly 1,000 different kinds of bats. So that's a lot of kinds of bats. Bats prefer warm climates and large numbers of them live in the tropics. They do not live in the coldest regions. So you're not going to find a bat up at the North Pole or the South Pole, but you will find bats where it's nice and warm. Now there's another kind of bat we're going to be talking about. So this is one kind of bat. This is another kind of bat. What might this bat be used for? This one could be used for baseball. And this is a book that is from Margaret Blackstone and it's called This is Baseball. And in it, it tells us this is a bat. This is a ball, this is a glove, and this is a cap. And if you read through this book, it'll tell you all the different things that are needed to play a game of baseball. One of my favorite books about, and songs about buses is called The Wheels on the Bus. And this is a really nice version of it from Marianne Kowalski. And in her version, these children go with their grandmother shopping and then it's time to go home, so they line up at the bus stop and wait for the bus. And she teaches them this song, The Wheels on the Bus. And they get so busy singing the song, and they're having so much fun singing about the wheels on the bus, that the bus goes right past them, and they end up taking a taxi cab home. So that's kind of a fun song about wheels on the bus. Raffi also has a version of Wheels on the Bus. And so you can listen to him sing it and read along with his book. And this is a fun book um, where they took the wheels on the bus and they changed it to the seals on the bus. We have a lot of different ways of singing wheels on the bus. And so let me show you a little bit of our version of wheels on the bus. We're going to start out with the wheels on the bus, just like in the books that I just showed you. But then we're going to change it to the hat on the man. What do you think the hat on the man is going to do? And then after we've sang about the hat on the man, we'll sing about the tail on the cat. And then on the next page, there's a whole bunch of different things that we can sing about going along with the wheels on the bus. So here's our version of wheels on the bus. See if you can start to sing along with it. Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, 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 round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all around the town. And the hat on the man's going to go up and down. The hat on, on the, the man goes, goes up and down, up and down, up and down. The hat on the man goes up and down, all around the town. Now here's the cat, and its tail's going to go back and forth. The tail on the cat goes back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth, the tail on the cat goes back and forth, all around the town. And here's the dog, and the fleas are going to hop on and off. The fleas on the dogs hop on and off, on and off, on and off. The fleas on the dogs hop on and off, all around the town. And the driver's going to turn left and right. The driver in the car turns left and right. Left and right, left and right, the driver in the car turns left and right, all around the town. The wings on the bird are going to flap. The wings on the birds go flap, 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 flap. The wings on the birds go flap, 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 all around the town. And here's the kids in the class, and they're going to go in and out. The kids in the class go in and out, in and out, in and out. The kids in the class go in and out. All year round. Okay, well, we're going to draw some things that we can use in that song today. So let's get out our paper, get out our pens, and see what we can draw and use in Wheels in the Bus. 
So let's take our pen out, and on the count of three, let's take our cap off. Ready? One, two, three. Turn your pen around, put your cap on the other end, and show me when you're ready to draw wheels. So now I'm going to start down at the bottom of my page because I want to put something on the bus up here. So I'm going to start with a wheel down here. Then I'm going to come clear over here and buses are long. So I'll leave a lot of space there. So here's another wheel. And here's the hubcap in the middle of the wheel. Now we're going to draw the frame of the bus. So we're going to make a line from the center of this wheel all the way over to the center of this wheel. Then we're going to make another line coming out here a little bit and another line coming out here. Okay, now we're going to make the bumper on the bus. So we're going to make a line coming up a little bit and then the bumper comes out and then the line comes back up. So make your bumper on your bus. Now we're going to make the hood and the windshield of the bus. So we're going to come in and up. Okay, now we're going to make the roof of the bus. So we're going to kind of curve here and come along almost to the end of this line. And then we're going to make a curved back of our bus coming down. Okay. Now we need to make the windows on the bus. So we're going to come halfway up, come in just a little bit and make another line that kind of divides that bus in half. Then we'll come up here, up here, and now we're going to make a line that goes right along below the roof line. Okay. Now we're ready for the windows on the bus. So first we'll make a window here for the driver. And we're going to make his steering wheel with a line coming up like this. And then for him to hold on to. Now you can decide how many windows you want on your bus. And bus windows tend to be kind of square. So let me see how many squares I can make here. You may have more or fewer squares on your bus. Now we want something to be on the bus. So this time we're going to do a mystery draw. So I won't tell you what I'm going to draw. You'll have to guess as we're drawing it. So I'm going to come most of the way up to the top of my page and I'm going to make two circles for eyes. Then let's add a pupil to each circle. So put add a dot to each one. Now we're going to make a nose. When we made our fox, we kind of came down here with a long nose. We're going to do that same thing here. Only we're going to make the shape of its head just a little different. So here I'm just going to make a line like this and a line like this. that almost touches, but not quite touches the nose and the, ear and the eyes. Okay. Now we're going to make some ears. So I'm going to start from this eye and go over here. Start from this eye and go over here. Now we're going to make the sides of the head. So I'm going to give him a little smile here with a curve. Then we're going to come from that curve up to this line and up to this line. It kind of looks a little like a fox at this point. Now this we're going to put some hair so there's some hair with some zigzag lines. Now we're going to come out from here and we're going to come down for the body. So I'm going to kind of, this body is kind of furry, so I'm going to come around like this. So there's the body. Now I'm going to make a tail, so a straight line down. Now I'm going to make some paws. So I'm going to come down and then out, out, out. Another leg down, out, out, out. So there it's kind of standing. Now I'm going to make some arms coming, sticking straight out. So I'm going to come out like this. I'm going to come out like this. Now we're going to make the skeleton. So I'm going to go one, two, three, 
four. Let's see, I think I'll make those just a little bit longer on that side. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four on that side. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to go from the body here with the curve down like this. Then I'm going to make another curve down like this on that side of the body. Now in the skeleton, there's another bone that comes along here. So I'll make a line like that. Line like this and up. Now we're going to finish off this. So I'm going to make a curve coming up, another curve coming up, and another curve coming up. I'll bet you've guessed what we've drawn. Now I'll make another curve here, here, and here. So what did we just finish drawing on the bus? This is a what? Bat. So let's see if we can write the sounds in bat and in bus. Ready? What's the first sound you hear in bat? B for bowing. So there's a straight line down and a curve coming out for our B. What's the next sound you hear in bat? Ah, for adding. What's the last sound you hear in bat? Bat. For tickling. So we're going to make a T. Put our bat inside a circle and tie the string to the bat. Now what did we draw a picture of here? We drew a picture of a bus. So we need a word to label bus. What's the first sound you hear in bus? B for bowing again. So I'm going to make a straight line down. Barnaby spells it with a B. And then make my, almost looks like a bat and a ball. Show me the next sound here in bus. Bus. Uh. How does Uncle Upton spell that? With a U. So we we'll make a curve like that, and then a straight line next to it. What's the last sound you hear in bus? Bus. Sadie Seals letter S. Now we talked about two different kinds of bats, didn't we? So let's see if we can add another bat to our picture. So here's one bat. Here's another bat. Let's make a curve coming like this, and then like this, and leave a little bit of space there between the two curves. Now let's make a little line coming up some tape on it here so you can hold on to it. Then we'll come out just a little bit and then up, around, and back down. So now we drew another kind of a bat. So this is a bat and this is a bat. Now each time we named our picture we put a circle there. So we're going to talk about what kind of word we're using today that we put inside a circle. So, this is a book from Brian Cleary that tells us the name of those kinds of words that we put inside circles. And it's called a mink, a fink, a skating rink. And the beginning of it reads like this. Gown is a noun, crown is a noun. In fact, our whole hometown is a noun. If it's a deck, a duck, or deer. If it's a crystal chandelier. If it's a train, a brain, or frown. It's elementary. It's a noun. And so these are the words that we put inside our circles are words that are nouns because they name the picture and those are words that we can trace around because they have a shape. So this is a bat is a noun. And bus is a noun. Now we're going to add a second kind of word that we talked about a little bit about last time. And that kind of word is in another Brian Cleary book called Harry Scary Ordinary. And these books kind of go on and on and on. I'm only reading just the beginning of the book. This book tells us 
adjectives are words like hairy, scary, cool, and ordinary. They describe, like tan and tall, funny, frisky, smooth, and small. Now, one of the easiest words to start out with that are adjectives are color words. And here's a chart of different color words. So here it says red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, black, white, brown. And so this I'll put up on the wall and you can use it to find color words. You can also look on your crayons and you'll find color words written in, in many cases on your crayons. So now if we go back to our drawing, we're going to add some adjectives and today we'll use colors for our adjectives. So adjectives kind of point to other words. So I'm going to draw an arrow. Now, if I want my bat to be black, I can look at the chart, find the word black, and it tells me that black is spelled B L A C K. And so if you want your bat to be black, you can write that word and color your bat black. But if you want a blue or a green or a red or a yellow bat, you can do that. Now you can draw an arrow to your bus and look at the chart and you can choose what color you want for your bus. So if you want to write yellow here, you can copy it from the chart. If you want your bus to be green or red or blue or brown, you can choose whatever color you want for your bus. But whatever color you write there, be sure when you color your picture that you use that color. Now we're going to use the words that we just did to make up our own frame for wheels on the bus. So here's a frame for wheels on the bus. And the first thing we need to do is choose a topic. So the thing that we learned how to draw today was a bus. So we're gonna to come to the second circle here and inside that circle, because it's a noun, we're gonna write bus. So make your straight line down and your little circle for your B. What was the next sound of us? Ah, uh, so now Uncle Upton needs a U for that letter. So we got B, uh, and what was the last sound? S. So just like we did either on the back of our paper or on another paper, we've got bus. Now, what did we put on our bus? We drew a picture of a bat on our bus. So in this circle, we're going to write another noun. We're going to write bat. B, B for bowing. Ah, ah for adding, and t, t for tickling. The bat, now is the bat in the bus, on the bus, by the bus, near the bus, was on the bus, so let's write on. Ah, so all the ostriches sound, n, n for nibbling. So now we have the bat on the bus goes... Now we need to put an E and an S after the word go, because we don't go the bat on the bus go. We have to go the bat on the bus goes. The bat on the bus goes, well, what a bat do? Fly, 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 flap, 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 screech, screech, screech. Let's use flap. So his wings go flap. So let's put an F, like we did for Farley Fox. An L is just a straight line, full actress Annie, a, ah and p for painting goes flap 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 and you can write flap two more times there if you wish all around the let's see you could put city the farm the street the town what shall we put there we could put town that's what we sang in the song but if you want to put city or something else when i come around or when your teacher or parent comes around, you can tell them if you want it to be in the city or the town or, or the village or wherever you would like that to be. So now how does this read? The bat on the bus goes flap, 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 flap. The bat on the bus goes flap, flap, flap all around the town. So what do you need to have up here so you can show what that means? You need a picture of your bus again, you need your bat on your bus, and you need to label those. Okay, and here's a couple examples that some kids did 
in my classroom and we made it into a book so you can do the same thing for wheels on the bus this child um, told me what to write and I wrote it down but you can probably write it down without anybody so she said I want ears on my dog to go flop the ears on the dog go flop 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 all around the town now she could have come back and rainbow wrote over those words that I wrote this one had the ears on the bat go flop 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 all around the and she chose city for where her bat is and this one she wanted to write about her mom so she writes the nose on the mom goes run 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 all around the office so maybe mom had a cold and her nose was runny okay well i hope you enjoyed hearing about buses and bats and drawing a picture of a bus with bats on it and in our next lesson we'll learn about another character so we can start to draw and label more pictures so i hope to see you then